Begin by having the client sitting in a comfortable position, the arm just relaxed by their side. Take the application and tear all of the perforations along the black lines before starting the application. For step number one, tear the backing of section number one halfway and apply to the border between the upper part of the arm and the shoulder. Gently rub the tape to activate the glue. Once that portion is applied, Tear the remaining portion of section 1 off, allowing the tape to come in gentle contact with the skin, and then proceed to rub the tape to activate the glue. For step number 2, have the client take their arm, reach it behind their back, stretching out the supraspinatus muscle. Tear the backing off of section 2, being careful not to touch the adhesive portion of the tape. Take that section, anchor the base, and stretch the tape gently up and across the top of the shoulder in line with the supraspinatus coming towards the back portion of the shoulder blade. Once applied, gently rub in the tape to ensure no creases have formed and you ensure proper activation of the glue. For section number three, just peel back the entire portion and let the tape come in gentle contact with the skin along the back part of the shoulder with no stretch on the tape. Once applied, smooth out any creases and activate the glue. Each section has to be applied before moving on to the next. Then take the arm, bring it across the front of the body, and rest the arm on the opposite shoulder, stretching out the infraspinatus. Tear back the backing of section number four, being careful not to touch the adhesive, and letting the tape come in gentle contact with the skin with no stretch. Once 90% of that portion is applied, tear the remaining portion off and gently rub the tape in to activate the glue. For section number five, take the arm, straighten it out, and extend it back behind the body, stretching out the anterior delt and the bicep muscle. Start peeling back the backing of section number five, allowing the tape to come in gentle contact with the lateral portion of the arm. Let the tape come in contact with the skin and gently rub over top of it, smoothing out any creases and activating the glue. Number six, peel back the backing of number six, gently let the tape come in contact with the skin. Once the majority of that section is applied, tear the remaining portion of the backing off and adhere to the skin. Step number seven, bring the arm out in front, stretching the posterior deltoid. Peel back the backing of number seven, letting the tape come in gentle contact with the posterior deltoid. Let the remaining portion come off without any stretch on the tape. Gently rub the tape in, 
Once no creases are there, then you can rub the tape a bit more aggressively to activate the glue. The final portion is bringing the hand back in behind the head to stretch out the tricep muscle group. Peel the backing of the tape, letting it come in gentle contact with the back portion of the upper arm along the tricep without any stretch on the tape. Once applied, gently rub in to activate the glue. Once the shoulder or spider is applied, rub over top to ensure all areas are properly applied and that the glue is activated. 